Today's video on our 1980 Blazer here on Bring a Trailer, we're going to be looking at our engine compartment. So the first thing we're going to do is our cold start. So our engine has not been started a day. It's nice and cold. Let's see how quickly it starts up. Right off the bat, just like that, our gauge on our uh, gas gauge works. Air conditioning, heater works, radio does not. Speedometer works, that is the current and correct mileage. You can see the oil pressure there is really nice and high. Our voltage is working, our temperature gauge works. Clock doesn't work, don't know that I've ever seen one that did. So now what we'll do is we'll take a look in the engine compartment and go through everything piece by piece. First thing I'm gonna do is take this uh, battery on out of here. And we'll take a look at the battery box. While I'm doing that, I want you to notice that it has the original jack system in there. Now you know a truck is gotta be an original, unmolested truck if you're looking at the original jack system in there. Get the battery on out, and we can see yeah, we got a little bit of rust in here, but it's basically just surface rust. This is the original battery tray. It is nice and solid. While we're here, we can see that our radiator core is nice and straight. That down in the bottom down there, there is no rust. That is a very common place to have rust happen because the radiator leaks and what have you. And it, you can see it's just a dish and it collects the water and the... Um, uh, section down here is just a real real common to rust you can see on one of the other videos on the bottom side of our tub right here there's also no rust no bubble rust any when we're here we can see that we've got the um, windshield wiper fluid jar it does have the cruise control set up but I do not have it all hooked up uh, you can see that it's all here and that it wouldn't take much to get it going if you like cruise control our wiper systems all set up there our um, air conditioning compressor now this is a brand new 3,000 miles or so crate engine you can see it's got the GM Goodrich crate on there that is a Holly demon carburetor that I went ahead and rebuilt we got new wires cap rotor etc etc we got a new fuel pump we've got new radiator we've got new hoses we've got new water pump did I already say that we already checked the fluid in our brakes as long as uh, um, with everything else front axle rear axle transfer cases etc etc it's an original air conditioning system i do not know what freon is in there but i do know that it is cold i do know that if i sit in this car for an hour or more with the air conditioning going full blast at the car show it will not overheat it will even get past half a mark and the reason is that's got a brand new radiator brand new engine brand new um water pump it's an edelbrock intake manifold on there too just so you know i would definitely uh you know, that, that air conditioning compressor's probably got to be low mileage, too, because it just doesn't look original. We can see that our power steering gearbox right here, it does have a little bit of a leak, but pretty much all of them do, and it's not an aggressive or excessive leak. I haven't even topped off the power steering fluid when uh, in the whole time that I've had it here. So we can see that this is a really, really nice, nice, nice truck. Nothing has been done to this. It's not been touched, not been molested, other than just the maintenance of keeping it going. I want you to notice these um, hood hinges right here. They're not all rusted up either. We went ahead and we uh, greased all those up. And the problem with these hood hinges is that they will get rusted up. And then when you try to bring your hood down, what can happen is this one little weak spot right there, the hood will bend right there. But you can see this is nice and straight on both sides, no bends. And that is because those hood hinges are so nice. And that's because this truck is so nice. We'll see you tomorrow.